Police investigating the disappearance of three-year-old Madeleine McCann are combing part of a reservoir in Portugal with a degree of enthusiasm that seems to confirm they're not just going off a hunch. They still won't say what new information they have, but did confirm what they described as certain tip-offs. Your correspondent Alicia Raymer reports. After years of nothing, something. A cold case bursting back into action. A coalition of officers from Portugal, Germany and the UK descending on the Portuguese countryside at first light with dogs and dogged determination searching the scrubland around this remote reservoir for long overdue answers. The German police are continuing at pace and they're not taking off the pressure and they're continuing to invest resource. The renewed police presence today only rivaled by that of the media. The case that gripped the world and the young face at the centre of it continues to do so. It's the mystery of it all. It has a lot of different elements that makes it like, whoa, what happened? It's every person, every parent's worst nightmare. The search site is just 30 minutes' drive from the popular holiday spot of Praia de Luz, where a three-year-old Maddie was snatched from her bed here in 2007. Phone records place the prime suspect, Christian Bruckner, near her apartment around the time of her disappearance. And he was often seen visiting this reservoir. An independent search was conducted here in 2008, but it was dismissed by police and ultimately abandoned due to cost. Now investigators scour the land and water with renewed focus. Police have been coming and going from the search site all day long. They have revealed they are following a certain tip-off, but they will not say what that tip-off was. That shall remain our secret for the moment. Give us a little bit of time, the German prosecutor urged today. One more secret to unlock the rest, perhaps, in the mystery of Madeleine McCann. Lisette joins us live from the scene. Lisette, the weather's been making things harder for investigators. Yes, that's right. A significant thunderstorm around mid-afternoon yesterday meant that the search was called off early. It did, however, not stop police officers from leaving the scene carrying large bags. They could be evidence, however, we have not yet had that confirmed. Everyone very much hopeful that today the weather plays ball so they will be able to make the most of the searching hours they have. You've heard in our story there from former police officer Jim Gambler. Now, he is a man who knows what he is talking about. He has previously been requested by the government to review the conduct of previous investigations into this case and he is adamant that the German authorities have significant information here that they are keeping secret. He says that will become very clear when we see just how deliberate and focused the search effort is and that is exactly what we are already seeing, a very specific search of a small uh, part of this reservoir and it will hold or it could hold the secrets to this mystery. Your correspondent, Lisette Raymer, live from Portugal, Tenakwe.